and welcome back to MLB The Show 19 and the Salomon Barrios Road to the Show. I'm Tyrant Saber. Last time out, Salomon Barrios' 2020 season came to an abrupt end when he ruptured his MCL against the Toronto Blue Jays and had to sit out the rest of the season. Now, the, the postseason played out a little bit differently than it did as I recorded because I forgot to save after I'd recorded the last video. So... Our rosters are a little bit different. We are coming. We are at the end of spring training for the 2021 season coming up. Uh, Angels did not do so well this year. They went 10 and 19 in spring training. Salomon himself, kind of a pedestrian, 253 batting average, four home runs, but he did have a re really good OBP of 417 and slugging of 480, which makes for an almost 900 OPS, which is you know pretty good. It's just that. Uh, you know, we'd like to see a lot more hits, a lot more home runs than that, and, uh, well, he just hasn't been getting them. The uh, sophomore slump, as it were, is real. So let's take a look real fast. We are presently rated as having the third best roster in the, ma in the majors, but uh, as far as record goes, we had the worst record in the uh, Cactus League. Uh, Blue Jays managed to have the worst record in the majors, and, uh, yeah. So, that's that, anyway. Um, as far as our lineups go, why don't we go ahead and progress to the regular season, and that will allow us to, uh... That will allow us to see what the final roster takes shape as, and we'll just take a look real fast. We're still rated as having the fourth best roster in the major, third best contact and power, sixth best pitching, 10th best defense, and 15th best speed. So we should, by all rights, be a powerhouse here. It's just that the preseason performance did not reflect that. Anyway, our lineup this year, leading off Xander Bogarts, Daniel Robertson, second base, Mikey Trout in center field, Justin Bohr at first base, Justin Upton, DHing, catcher JT Real Muto, Right field, Salomon Barrios still. Corey Dickerson, left field. David Fletcher out at third base. And on the bench, we got Sandy Leon, Steven Souza Jr. in right field, JJ Poe, and Trey Mancini, formerly of the Orioles, out in left field. Then in the bullpen, we got Shohei Otani, Aaron Sanchez, Robbie Ray, Tyler Skaggs, and Andrew Heaney in our rotation. And our bullpen is Michael Feliz, long relief man, Cody Allen, Justin Anderson, and Aradis Vizcaino as long re as uh, middle relievers, Andrew Miller and Cam Bedrosian as our setup guys, and Ken Giles is our closing pitcher. So that's how things shape up here, and I guess we'll find out whether or not we can make things happen. So our first series of the year is going to be against the Houston Astros, so let's get out here and get it. Time baseball here on MLB Network. Today, game one of a quick two game series between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Houston Astros. Hello again, everybody. Baseball is back. Welcome to our special opening day broadcast on MLB Network. I'm joined by Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak. The staffs for these two teams sure to be a focal point as this series moves along. Just like any team, pitching is going to be a key factor for this ball club as the year plays out. I'm sure the staff will have its ups and downs, but if they can pitch like they can, I think this team is going to be pretty successful. The games count starting now. Opening day on MLB Network, and it's coming up next. Getting close to first pitch here. Let's listen in to public address announcer Alex Miniak. Ladies and gentlemen, your Houston Astros. <laughs> the 
quickly now we'll look at the two men who are entrusted with the starting pitching assignment here to begin the new year. And with that, let's take a look at the Angels starting lineup. Mark, what do you have on this lineup as they go for their first win? Yeah, Maddie, this team poses a lot of problems offensively. This is a scary lineup. They can beat you in a variety of ways. Not only do they have power in the middle of the order, but a ton of speed that can put some serious pressure on the defense. Madison Bumgarner gets the call to pitch here on opening day in front of the hometown crowd. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, we're getting a chance to watch a guy that has 99 career losses. One thing I'm certain that he doesn't want to do is pick up career loss number 100 in this one here today. So it's going to be awfully important, one, that his team scores him some runs, and two, he shuts down the opponent early. Time for a look at the Strohs on D. And let's take a look at Carlos Correa. I had an old friend say to me one time, this is what they look like, and this is exactly what it looks like. The ability to play gold glove defense and hit. Ah, ah. So digging in now, Solomon Barrios. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Okay, new year, new season, new knee. Let's go get it. Angels up one nothing in the second. Mad bum on the mound for the Houston Astros. We'll see what Solomon can do out here. And it's fouls off the cutter inside for strike two. Going for the fast strike out here, but Solomon fouls it off to stay alive. Inside High inside fastball, two-seamer. Hey, I can understand why he wanted to elevate the fastball right there. This batter's eyes have been lit up since he stepped in the box. Let's see if he gets him fishing on something breaking in the dirt right here. And, and change up the down and in. So what could have been a 3-2 is now just 2-2. Two -two. That's blooped over the head center. of the shortstop into and short in there, left field, hit. and that'll be a base hit. Let's go, Venga! All right, good job right there. Good Boy, after that it's a humble beginning right to the there, season for Solomon, but he can't complain about a 1,000 yeah, batting average to start the season. Also of note, during the offseason, uh, we wound up having the coach give us the green light on stealing bases. Solomon's going to try to take three, and he's going to make it in there. So nice scramble from first to third on that uh, base hit up the middle. in this or any other sport for that matter that are capable of picking them up and putting them down like he can, and it ended up making a play not even close at third. 6.6 seconds, first to third. That's the wheels on Solomon. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Well, time to look at our umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Dave Lawrence. Dan, we got Dave Lawrence behind the dish tonight. One of the best in the business, in my opinion, but sometimes has a tendency to fall into a pattern where he's given a little bit too much on that outside corner. Yeah, D-Road, one of the things he'll do, he'll Don't open up that outside count corner, here. especially with left-handed batters. Lifetime numbers against yeah, Bumgarner. Go. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at-bats. See what he can do out here, 3-1. There's a swing and a drive. Hit. Drives it out to right field. That's going to be taken out there on the warning track, but Solomon's coming home on it. And that'll put the Angels ahead 2-0 here in the top of the second. Let's go. Striding into the box, Solomon Barrio. Chance to cash in here, and don't be surprised if he does. Certainly known as one of the best hitters Well, we got a boss challenge here, Mad Bum, out here. Now get your pitch up there. 
Here we go, right now. We're now down three to five here, top four with one away. Bumgarner into his motion. First pitch on its way. Cut her down. Time. It's one. Solomon's oh, early on it. it Let's go. And a good idea to hold off on that swing. It's ball one. Well, you're in trouble at the plate if you fall behind this guy, 0-2. So that was a good job to hold up right there. 1-1. The Fouled away. Cutter center cut. 1-2 count. Two-seamer two down, right, taken two for two. ball two. Three runs, five hits, hey, and no errors to up. this point for the Angels. Again, early on the cutter. Here we go, kid. Swing and, and a curveball below the zone gets away. Solomon swinging. That'll be his first strikeout of the year, so have a seat and get comfortable. He's able to turn things around in this start after a rough beginning. It's got some good bite to it. So that is George Springer. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the middle line button on that last inning. No doubt about that, Max. That was a good block on the frame. But clearly not enough to chase him for this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. Out here, bottom four with runner on first. Swing and a flare hit Shallow line. fly ball out here. Solomon's got it. He'll be the first out of the inning. Into the box now. Solomon Valerio. He'll look to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Well, now it's three to seven here, top six with runner on first. I don't think they're going to be sub subbing Solomon out. This isn't pitch. spring training. Yeah, not Ooh. Uh, uh, the cut her way outside. Out of the zone for strike one. You can't allow this offense to get going right here. Lead off man on doesn't kill us. Let's try and roll a double play right here. Let's execute a good pitch down and away. See if we can get a ground ball and rely on your defense a little bit. Oh and one. Here it comes. That's cut her low. Taking him for a ball. And a strike. Wow, kind of oh, an interesting pitch, pitch huh? call there. The batter flailed at the pitch away on the previous one, oh, so you think you'd go right, right back here. there, but instead they decided to come in, yeah, make him prove that he can adjust before you do. Two and one. Another cutter low. It's one Three thing one. to get hit around, but it's far worse when you're getting yourself into trouble by not throwing strikes. Every pitcher's been there, but it doesn't make it any less frustrating or unacceptable. And he fouls this one off. I think I was late on that one. Yep. Can't quite Goldilocks any of these pitches. It's always a little too early, a little too late. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Fouled off. There's one down taken early for another strike. The 2-2 one more time. Cutter inside. It's been nothing but cutters so far. The higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. Come on, let it fly right here. Let it fly. Too close for comfort. There's another one away and just barely fell that one off. Let's go right here. Cut her down, taken for strike three. Swung on and missed for the first down. Missed it. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base. Should have shortened up on that one. Made a contact swing. But it is what it is. We're coming out here top eight, three to ten. Use some showtime because we might as well. And it's fouled away. Here we go, boys. Hey, one time, right now. Low fastball. Now a good pitch hey, nice around lead, the knees, nice but it doesn't 33,876 people out here at Minimaid Park on opening day. The Astros, thank you for your continued support. Nope. Two seamer down and away for away ball, ball two. two. Oh. 
three and one. Fastball up and in. Especially dangerous because if you walk him, he can steal a base on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can take you deep too. And a good take Taking a fastball away, and that'll be a walk for Solomon here to lead beginning. off the eighth. That is not the way he Big hill to, to climb, but we can at least show it's these guys what we're made of. Hitter, here comes David Fletcher out here. He's three for three on the day. And he can really wreak some havoc on the bases. And let her rip, let her rip. Okay. And that misses hey, two and one. Good Boy, not exactly what you'd like as a pitcher. One of the keys is to minimize your pitches, attack the strike zone early, a lot of deep counts. Solomon's going on this one. Into a lot of trouble. They foul that one off. Shoot, it doesn't even look like they're going to bother to protect the bases on this one. I guess given the lead they've got, it's more dangerous for them to uh, leave the field. Stepping into the box. JT Real Muto now no open. to this point. JT. But that being the case. Bregman has it. And that's the second out. Back to the top of the Might as well get over to third if they're not going to protect. Error allowed him to reach base in his last appearance. Chops that one down for a full count. No, a uh, two-two count. One error for the Angels so far. Outside and a full count, three and two. Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. He's set. Here's the three and two. Here's a shot. Turn that one around, and that one's out of here. As it's into the Xander boxes. Bogarts here, top eight, makes it a five to ten game with a two-run shot to left field. It's a two-run shot to So Solomon gets a run out of the day. Of the campaign for him as they try to claw back. It's a five-run deficit. If nothing else, we're showing them that we can score some runs out here. Well, that ball right there was right up in the happy zone. It doesn't take much to drive on all the ballpark when you connect on a high pitch like that. The backspin. But, in fact, the Astros are going to take game one of the year, and the Angels are going to go 0-1 to start off this 2021 campaign. The Strohs put a 10 spot on the scoreboard in this one. Madison Bumgarner. Earns his first win of the season. Shohei Otani couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. So that's a wrap for us in this one. Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, Matt Vaskersian. We all thank you for watching Major League Baseball on MLB Network. See you next time. Poor Otani seems to be getting blown up every time he comes out here. Southeast Texas, we welcome you inside Minute Maid Park here in downtown Houston. Today, a matchup out of the American League Western Division between the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim and the Houston Astros. Two of the best hitters around, Trout and Altuve, next on the show. Lance McCullers is on the mound for Houston in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, we're looking at a guy that knows how to pitch. Last year, his ERA was just under 3.5 for the season, and I would imagine going into the offseason, he's looking to better that, and hopefully he gets off to a good start. We'll see if that starts in this one today. That's seven. Well, Ready Solomon coming out here, top Solomon seven, two away, away, no score. Yes, he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Lance McCullers. First pitch fastball swung on. Early on that one? one? Yep. Fellas, taking a look at these Astros go, entering play here this afternoon. They're coming off a good victory here in front of the home faithful on opening day. Chops yeah, Maddie, a second pitch. Knuckle curveball on the outside half. Be right if you can get in your car today and drive home 2 0. This is a big game. High fastball, nice next pitch. Momentum. That's ball Either one. Way. Another win here, and they're going to be feeling great about where they're at. Two away, two away. The one-two. And a changeup down. Three. Strike three. Swinging. Solomon goes down on strikes, and that'll end the inning. 
digging in. Here he comes again. Runner on second. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, but it was a good change up, Matty. Good arm action on that pitch. Outside fastball. Stay back a little bit more. Let the ball get a little deeper. Don't be shocked if this pitcher tries to rush a heater right here. The one and delivery. Inside fastball. Couldn't catch up to that one. Hey, get your pitch and drive it. One one misses for no curve ball inside two. for ball two. The runner at second with one away. Let's go now. One time. Ooh. Nice sinking fastball below the zone for strike two. Come on, baby. See it. Grab it. Oh, and that knuckle curveball gets Solomon swinging. So that's two Ks on the day for Solomon. Top eight, we're still scoreless completely. Fifteen thousand eight hundred one people for day two of the season. Astros, thank you for your support. Here comes the airplane. High in the air out to right that field. is going to be a fly out to right there. field, got though. And Solomon's still in here, top 10. Runners first and third, and they're going to intentionally walk him with, no, with nobody out just so that he doesn't have the chance to drive in that run. Indication from the dugout of an intentional pass, and that will load the bases here and set up the force at the plate. Now at the hey, plate, nobody. Corey Dickerson. Been a rough go of things at the now plate for him so far. Well, here comes Corey Dickerson. To change that right here. Yeah, nothing better than coming through for the boys in a tight game, Matt, especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. The one-and-one one pitch. Ah. Strike taken as that one catches the outer part of the plate. Now the Astros have somebody up in the bullpen as a right-hander has started to warm up out there. Hey, let's make a play and hold him right here. Let's go. Let's keep it going now. Keep it going. Not much to say right now. Base is loaded and Solomon's only on first. Corey Dickerson strikes out looking. He's not happy about it. He's chirping at the ump. So he's going to have a lot to think about when he leaves the ballpark tonight. Hey, run away. Run away. He'd be lucky if he doesn't get ejected. The third base, number six, David Fletcher. David Fletcher, I think. And he misses two and one. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. What's up? Drive him in right here. Here you go. Now the 2 1. Down the first Line down the first base line. Solomon's going to have to take out Carlos Correa going in. That's going to be a fielder's choice RBI. Solomon playing hard to take out the second baseman on his way into second. Great hustle to beat the throw at first. Keeps the inning alive, and more importantly, he gets an RBI because of Nails him there. And David Fletcher stays alive, bringing it up. Tony. Nope. Not Tony Kemp. I'm not sure what happened there, but regardless, we're still up one to nothing here. It's the bottom of the tenth. Ready. Here's the 0-1. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. It's going to be a fly ball out to Solomon Land, and he's got it for the second out of the bottom of the 10th. And that's going to be the Angels' first win of the season. Cody Allen gets the win in relief in extras as the Angels walk out of here winners. One to nothing. Single run good enough to do it today. One nothing the final score. The Angels claim the victory despite being held to only three hits. Cody Allen claims the win out of the pen his first. Ken Giles hammers down the save his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Baskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com.
Well, Solomon's ratings are not going in the right direction. He's 167 with a 375 OBP and a 167 slugging. But regardless, we split the early season series against the Astros, and that'll start the 2021 campaign. I'm actually going to take a moment to do a training session going into the next week of uh, games just so that I reinforce to you guys that I am taking Solomon's durability a little more seriously now uh, given the fact that he blew out his knee conditioning is going to be a much more significant part of his game plan that will allow him to, to play more games in the season as well he'll be fresher and be able to play more games without taking a day off so we'll give the Pilates mini game a try here just to stretch things out a little bit whatever that's worth for you but in any case that's going to be the beginning of the season for us and next time out, we'll be facing the Toronto Blue Jays in Anaheim. So until next time, I'm Tyrant Saber, and I will see you at the ballpark. <laughs>